103.3 The Fox. WUFX Buffalo. The home of Buffalo Licks. Now, here's Jesse. You are listening to local music here on The Fox with the need. And this is their song from the heart on Buffalo Licks on 103.3 The Fox. How long have you been doing Buffalo Licks? Uh, we've been doing it for about three years. Three and a half years. And how did you get involved with it? Um, it all started with Bob Richards, who used to be the program director here at The Fox and he wanted to get more support for local musicians, so he wanted to do a local music show. Now we have a new program director, his name is Vince Richards, and he's also in support of local music as well. That was Turn Me Inside Out by The Need on Buffalo Licks on 103.3 The Fox. That was their live recording at Blind Melon's last Wednesday night for the taping of Buffalo Licks. Uh, we pick out a band to play on Buffalo Licks, and they play live at Blind Melon's. And we have a different band every week. The band plays for 45 minutes, and out of that 45 minutes, we select four songs. We play back the four songs of that featured band. Uh, we feature the band that's going to be playing the, the coming Wednesday at Blind Melon's and also various other musicians. Uh, we also have little information, you know, information on what's going on in the scene. We have a concert calendar and um, just anything that's going on. We don't follow the programming of the Fox, or the regular programming of the Fox. We will play any kind of music that uh, is from Buffalo and that sounds good. What kind of turnouts do you get at the live shows? It depends on the band. If they spent the last four weeks making up flyers and, and flyer in cars and handing them out to people and going all their friends and saying they're going to come out, you know, you can have three, four hundred people there, and if they don't, you know, you can't. <laughs> you can not have 20 people. Coming up on tonight's show is 46 Inches, Dirty Blonde, Spitting Room, some Funk Butt, Elk, and the Children. Right now we're going to take a break, and we're going to be back with the boys from 46 Inches on Buffalo Licks on 103.3 The Fox. What do you hope to accomplish with Buffalo Licks? It certainly would be to see a band get some recognition and get signed to a label, you know, because there's enough good ones here in Buffalo. The purpose of, the, of my job is to play local music, um, have a rapport with the musicians, and, and basically tell everybody what's going on. The, the show doesn't focus on me or Max, it focuses on local music. And whatever ha we have to do to get that through, you know, we just do it. You two deserve better, and we have the program. This is State of Independence an in-depth look at the local music scene in western New York and southern Ontario. Heard exclusively on Niagara's new rock alternative, FM 101, The Planet. So, Todd, yes. what is the state <laughs> of independence? Well, it's well, I think it's, I think really it's a reflection of the local music scene. And I don't mean just local, I think regional music scene. Uh, you know, we're, we're taking uh, tapes and CDs from bands from all over the region. You know, from Hamilton, from Fredonia, from Buffalo, from St. Catharines. You know, and we're giving them some exposure. Now this next band, McCarthyism, I've been dying to check these guys out for the longest time. And it looks like we're going to get them for our live State of Independence show on Tuesday, uh, March 28th, along with The Need. Uh, this is where I put the State of Independence together. I do it all under the computer. I think mainly because we're, we're dealing with so many different mediums. I like you're dealing with vinyl, cassette. Uh, you know, reel to reel, sometimes VHS. Production quality isn't necessarily, you know, as top notch as most CDs. So rather than having it sound like the, rather than the sound dropping off all the time, if Todd loads it in his computer, he can bring the levels all up to the, to to the same. That's right. Yeah, and I can EQ it because uh, some cassettes sound a bit flat, so you know you might want to bring the EQ a bit up uh, on it. So you know, it certainly helps in that regard. What should a band do if they want to get on? State of Send us the yeah, tape yeah. and bug us. Yeah. Good packaging, good professional, you know, packaging really helps. Or creative, yeah. Yeah, cre yeah creative. Maybe not I mean, corporately not, professional, yeah. but creative. No, but something really creative is cool. I can't believe the amount of CDs we have. Like CDs. Never mind tapes mm -hmm. and vinyl. We, I have a stack. One mm -hmm. of the things our program director has said that I always stuck with me. It says a Canadian radio station, we are required by law to play 30% Canadian content. And he said, uh, shouldn't our gut tell us we have to play at least 5% Buffalo content? There's, you know, 4 million people in Toronto, but there's almost a million in Buffalo. There's no reason why a bar that holds 500 people can't do 500 people for a bunch of local bands. Mm -hmm. So you've got to create the buzz too. You've got to be friends with all the newspaper writers. You've got to really create a buzz for your band. And hopefully we contribute to that buzz. I mean, at least that's, that's our hope.